Fox's Mindy Mizell joins us live now with the very latest from Encino, California. Mindy, getting more and more complicated. Do we know at this point, has Debbie Rose said that she wants custody? Well, she hasn't apparently contacted the Jackson family. They have come out and said yesterday, as recently as that, that they had not yet even talked to her or talked to the mother. So they're not sure really where this stands. We're also hearing other reports that perhaps she's tried. They just haven't been able to touch base. We're standing right now in front of Michael Jackson's parents' house here in Encino, California. The children, uh, the, the grandchildren of them, are here inside. Uh, we've had fans out here all day long trying to come out here and get pictures and pay tribute to the king of pop. But like you were talking about, uh, this case continually just develops. Uh, and just yesterday, um, Michael Jackson's mother was awarded temporary custody over those three grandchildren of hers. She's also been granted temporary authority over his estate. They still have a lot of questions in this case. But we're also hearing a couple new developments in the investigation. Real quickly, yesterday, uh, the coroner's office was back over at his rental property, Michael Jackson's property, taking in some more evidence. They were apparently pulling out several more bags of medication. Uh, and left the house with those. Still not clear what was in the bag or the two bags, but they are, of course, considering that as well as the uh, toxicology reports that will be coming back in the next few weeks. Yeah, Mindy, what about a will? Uh, the parents have said that there is no will, but the Wall Street Journal reports that there is a will, that it was filed in 2002. Uh, has that surfaced at this point? Mm -hmm. Well, what we're hearing from the Jackson camp is they have not seen a will, they don't know of a will, they don't think that any will that uh, Michael Jackson's is actually valid. However, we are getting more recent reports from Michael Jackson's attorney that, in fact, he may have had a more recent will done in 2002. In it apparently leaves everything to his three children and his mother and also just different charities. However, the one thing that's missing is obviously his father, Joe Jackson. Uh, so we're not sure yet what it actually contains. We haven't seen it, neither has the family. But apparently the attorney says that he would be filing this uh, will in court by this next Thursday. So we're all waiting to see what's in it. All right, Mindy, got to ask you about Craig Boswell, the Fox reporter who was hit by a car <laughs> yesterday after doing a report. How is he doing? Well, boy, what a crazy story. It just shows you just how busy it is out here. I mean, we've got media crews. You can't see it, but they go about half block down this way and then more that way. Plus, we've got all the fans who've been kind of gathering out here. And then on top of that, the Jackson family coming in and out. Gre Craig Boswell was hit by a car yesterday. He was apparently trying to cross the street. Uh, it was a hit and run. Somebody ran over his foot. Um, he was taken immediately to the hospital by ambulance. Uh, he broke several bones and his foot is going to be returning back to Washington, D.C., later today where he'll have to have surgery on his foot um, but apparently he is out of the hospital doing much better uh, it's just as a crazy atmosphere out here it just shows you how busy it is and how careful we all have to be out here wow a hit and run so police don't know who did it at this point no, they really don't. We were only able to get a description. This was before we, our crew came in here, but apparently the, the witnesses who were out here saw the car but weren't able to get a license plate, so still no word on uh, who may have done this. We're actually here, and they might not have actually known that they hit him, just maybe just nicked his foot and, didn't, and kept going, not realizing that they had struck him. Yeah, it can, can be a, a dangerous job sometimes <laughs> reporting out in the field. <laughs> well, give give Craig Boswell They're our really best. We, we hope he is uh, feeling better. Minnie Mizell, thanks for talking with us. Thank you.